Hi, I'm Rana Halabi Najjar and I'm at the WIN conference presenting my poster. Uh -huh. And my poster um, is a project examining the relationship between obesity and patterns of drug use in methadone patients. Um, so what we did with our study is we looked at the literature and found that there are um, correlations between food addiction um, and obesity. And we found um, in the literature as well that um, there are similar neural pathways between those that are obese and those that are addicted to um, drugs or other addictions. And so um, we had a database, um, Dr. Compton's study, that um, had looked at uh, opiate-induced hyperalgesia in her methadone-maintained patients. So we used the database to look at the prevalence of obesity, and we found um, 31% were overweight and 42% were obese. So then in finding the prevalence, we decided to look if, uh, to look and examine uh, patterns of drug use and we um, compared them against the um, people with average BMIs, people who were overweight and people who were obese. And, um, that as, uh, the, as obesity or as BMI increased, the level of addiction decreased. And looking in the literature, um, it, the literature supported this. Um, and a lot of studies have looked at um, patients that are um, being treated for addictions like marijuana and tobacco and other substance abuse. And they found that as, um, as the addiction to the substance abuse was treated, they were substituting it with food addiction. And they found higher rates of BMIs with those that had um, been abstinent from their substance abuse. Um, we also found uh, significance in animal studies as well, um, looking at rats who um, exhibited binge eating behavior and who had substance abuse and when they abstained from their substance abuse and when they abstained from binge eating they had the same um, withdrawal effects. Mm -hmm. So from our study we concluded that it's really important for um, health practitioners that are treating substance abuse patients to look at the obesity piece and it's really important that um, that there are tools that are created to assess for eating disorders in patients who are um, substance abusers. Future um, research or future direction, uh, further research needs to be done in the areas of assessment and treating the co-occurring food and uh, drug addiction. And um, due to the negative effects of overweight and um, obesity, uh, it's really important that these measures are collected and, and addressed during the treatment process. Um, uh, there are concerns that um, individuals who succeed in their drug and substance abuse programs will um, replace their uh, drug addiction with, a, with food addiction, so it's really imperative that, that these issues are looked at and addressed. So the, the other um, future direction that this uh, research needs to go in is in development of tools to assess people that need help in um, treatment programs. So to help providers identify patients who have coexisting disorders um, or who may develop an eating disorder when they are being treated for their substance abuse disorder.